Welcome to Codex Digest and in today's video we are going to discuss another interesting technique of scaling out the features. So basically today's video we are going to discuss what is min max scaling and if you want to learn the theory in more detail then I would recommend you to check my other video which is on the basis of standardization. So I will have the link in the i button so please do check out that. Okay so let us proceed with this video and let us understand what is min max scaling. And before that, why we need feature scaling? Because there are certain models which require our features to be on, you know, between a certain range so that we do not have outliers or the data does not vary too much. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And the, and the reasons are like the coefficients of linear models are very much influenced by the scale of the variable. PC also requires the features to be centered at zero. And whenever you are coming across any algorithm that somehow calculates the distance let us say the euclidean distance or any such thing then you will need your features to be scaled okay uh, apart of that we do save some computing resource and the gradient descent also converges faster on the scale data and these are basically uh, the algorithms which are you know affected by your scale of the variable so uh, so let me correct it this is actually my uh, not standardization this is min max scaling okay so what is it uh, what does it do that basically how you achieve it you take an observation uh, and subtract the minimum of of uh, you know of that uh, column or, or of that feature and then divide it by maximum of uh, observation maximum observation in that feature minus the minimum observation of that feature so uh, uh, stay with me we will uh, it will make all sense when we will go through the demonstration so this is basically the same example which I dealt with in the standardization process. So here I am basically importing my libraries which are NumPy, Pandas and I am loading the Boston data set and I am using it for train test split and I am here I am using the MinMax scaler and I am importing it from the library scikit-learns pre-processing module. Okay. I do not need the linear model here because I have demonstrated it in the other video which you will you can check. In the I button okay so now I will simply load my data and if I print out the description then you can see that this is the description of my data and these are my variables so you can quickly take a glance at it and basically this is a median value and it is actually a target variable for this data set and this is a crime rate and you can go through this data set so we will uh, simply go ahead and uh, see what is min max scaling so here is the data basically let me run it again then in its original form if you see the features then do, those have a high variance you can see that uh, let us say the variable jaden or crim then you see that the minimum value here is maximum is 27 and minimum is uh, 0.46 so there is a variation in this not too much but actually there can be certain variables which are uh, varying too much on the scale so let us say this variable it has minimum of 0.232 and the maximum is 396.9 okay so these are such variables which may cause problem so we will basically scale all these variable in between 0 and 1 so that is basically what we are going to achieve okay uh, let us see how we do that so for first thing i will simply split my data into train and test set so here is my train set you can see that uh, here is uh, the variables okay and these are actually on its scale these are not scaled right now so what i will do that we will create an object of min max scalar which we imported from scikit-learn library if you recall it and you see that we imported the min max scalar so what we need to do that we will simply create an object of min max scalar and we will fit it to the train data uh, always remember it I just mentioned it in my previous video also that always train your scalars or, or objects on the training data and then use them to fit your test data and train it also and then after training it I will simply transform my x train and x test so basically here I am affecting the changes to my training test set and I'm storing after scaling into a new variable or new frame data frame which is x train underscore scale and x test underscore scale okay now uh, you can check this command is basically how you can check uh, what is there stored in your scalar so you see that for this variable 
uh, the first variable the maximum our scalar has learned that the maximum is 88.97 and essentially if you want to see then you can see that for this cream the uh, maximum is 88.97 and for jaden the maximum is 100 so that is why it is showing you that you can see here is 100 and here is 88.9 so it basically stored uh, whatever it has learned from your uh, from your data and you can simply check the minimum values also so here are the minimum values and basically what you can do that then uh, you can basically transform now uh, your data set so let me show you that after transforming the data you have is basically in the form of a numpy array and which may not be of much of a use and would not be having a good interpretation so you can see that here uh, this is basically a numpy array and you might struggle to use it so what you will do that this is basically the command pd.data frame which i'm using from pandas and i'm passing the columns as which i had originally in my extrain uh, extrain which was uh, the which was the data frame which I uh, which I used or split earlier. So here I am basically providing my numpy array which is this and I am providing the column names and basically I am creating my data frame now. So let me show you what we have achieved. If you see then now you can find that our variables are uh, very much low on scale and let me give you an example of it. So uh, how what we have achieved so you you know that we will simply subtract uh, uh, let me show you the original variable. So let us say for Jaden, you can see that uh, before scaling, this particular variable was 30. So how it is done that uh, basically you take the variable, you uh, you subtract the minimum. So basically the minimum or in Jaden was zero. So if you will see here, then you see that in the Jaden the minimum was zero and maximum was uh, 100. So that is how it is achieved. So basically what we have done that the minimax is Scalar has simply uh, taken the observation, subtracted the minimum, which was zero, taken the maximum and subtracted, subtracted the minimum, which was zero, and then it has created a division. So if you see that for this uh, for this particular observation, after scaling the value is 0.3, and similarly, if you see that your scalar has also performed the same job, you can see that this is the data transformed by your scalar and the value is 0.3. So basically, this is what we have achieved it. And now if you will print the description of the data, then you can see that your variable is now scaled. You see that the maximum is one and minimum is uh, zero. So you see that our variables are now scaled in between zero and one. And that was what we intended to achieve. So thank you for watching this video. If uh, you uh, want to uh, clarify more cl clarification on any topic, or any uh, thing which you have come across in this video please do let me know in the comment box and do not forget to like this video and please subscribe my channel thank you very much